What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on F1 2018, the official game. I want to make a big thank you to my buddy and best friend here in uh, real life, uh, Nate or Christmas on the Xbox One, for getting me this game. Definitely been looking forward to playing this game because, uh, you know, Project Cars was kind of a sad thing, and it was kind of sad that Project Cars kind of crashed out with the wheel setup, and uh, I wanted a racing game with a good career basic like this so we are here on f1 i did play f1 17 and 16 i did do it on the channel once before but now i'm super excited here that we are on f1 2018 the official game so we're gonna hop into it you know get my impressions on the game um i did mess around a little bit of it on uh grand prix um spain race round one I think we're just going to hop right into a race. We are going to hook up the helmet cam for today. You guys seem to like the helmet cam when I did it last time. So we're going to have the helmet cam on. We're going to be running our Logitech G920 with our Energy Innovations wheel. We're not going to use our handbrake, obviously, because it's an F1 car. But we will be using the sequential shifter mod because I don't have the paddles hooked up. Um, I am working on making paddles that I can put on and off the wheel setup so that I can have paddles behind the wheel if I choose so. So that is coming to the channel as well. So I think we're going to go into Grand Prix continue i think we're gonna go straight to grid we are in spain i chose spain because um well i kind of know spain um because it is in forza but of course this is different f1 simulation racing uh, i think i believe i have the damage i have all assist turned off except uh i believe i have interlock braking on slightly um and i also have a little bit of traction control not much um I think we're going straight into the race. And if that's the case, we're going to have to uh, get the helmet cam uh, turned on and uh, get our wheel hooked up. And, uh, well, we're just going to go full send. So we're going to see exactly where we're at once the game decides to load. So you guys know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All that's found in the description box below. Um, I will have Torque Drift beta video coming out today as well this evening. So look forward to Torque Drift beta coming out this evening as well. Um, graphics, the first impressions look amazing, here in and Spain. we are Almost here at uh, Spain, so like. I believe we're going to be straight on grid, because I did run a practice session, but I did run, yep, okay. we're going to be straight on grid, ahead, and why is my screen one. tripping out? We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. It wasn't tripping out before. Hmm, so I think we're going to reset our screen real quick. And then uh, we're going to go right back to it. All right. So we are on grid. We did get our screen issue uh, figured out. We got the helmet cam turned on. We got to get our wheel hooked up on our AM Studios quick release. We are running the Logitech wheel today. We're not running our hydraulic cam brake. We don't need it, but we will be running the shifter. So we're uh, just going to go straight to it and uh, see how this goes. First impressions here, really, on F1 in a race. We do have accelerate the start assist on. Hopefully we don't get screwed up in the first turn. I'm already dreading this first turn. We'll break early. Try not to smack into him. Now there is this view that I like better. A little... Okay. So this view I do like it a little bit better, even though it is a little bit off to the left. We kind of can. Oh, geez, I probably should have been paying attention. Uh, yeah. Can we rewind that real quick? So I should be paying attention instead of just enjoying that scenery. But I do like this view a little better, even though it is off to the left, because you kind of get a. You can see the steering wheel better, and. Uh, First person view in this game is definitely a challenge. I shouldn't be switching views while I'm mid right, right here. First person view is definitely a challenge with those halos. With the halo protection system right there, it makes it really hard to see straight ahead, but I mean, these cars do sit low and this is exactly what the drivers would be seeing. We are running full force feedback. I don't know what he's changing or flipping on his uh, finger, but 
because I'm not hitting any buttons, but we're cutting the grass. So I think those halos would definitely be really annoying in front of my face. So we're going to go back to the view I like, which is this one. So first impressions of this game. This game is so much fun to drive. It's definitely very, very intense. Um, especially with the, you know, the drag reduction systems and everything that you can do. And it's just, you know, being the fact that it's open wheel and you don't want to cause contact, I believe damage right now was on almost full, but not simulation because it was on simulation and I would have tapped the guy before I re, uh, rewound this, I probably would have lost my front wheel. So we're trying to stay smooth right now and this game is a lot of fun. Definitely want to get online with... Ooh, that's a late break move. We'll take that break move though. Uh, get online with Christmas and get some uh, racing with him since a big thank you to him for uh, picking this game up. Him and I do... Uh, we do game share. So uh, since he is a, one of my good friends in real life, we... Uh, we game share from time to time, so he uh, did pick this game up, and I was super excited when he did because I was uh, very excited to give it a try because I do like F1 racing and basically racing season games like Project Cars, the original. I did love a lot because you know the career aspect of this, and this game has more into the career aspect of oh boy, almost lost that of where you have to. Uh, do interviews and such and your interviews affect how your team is with you and stuff like that so I will get more into that in a career mode if you guys want to see F1 2018 career mode let me know down in the comments section down below the DRS is now activated the drag reduction system which I have I believe set to Y we have to be within one second of the car in front of us in the DRS zone in order to activate it you can do it in practice and qualifying whenever you want. But it basically opens up the flap on the wing and makes it less drag for straight line speed if you guys don't know what the DRS system is. If you guys don't follow F1 really, you wouldn't really know. I'm trying to pass this guy, but he's not letting me. I'm going to take him on that acceleration, but he is fighting me a lot. Don't hit me, dude. All right, we finally got clear of him. I was not <laughs> thinking we were going to get clear of him. But we are still all the way in seventh. I don't think we're going to be able to catch up to these guys in two laps, but we will try. And I went a little wide there, but we're okay. These super soft uh, Pirelli tires that we're rocking are definitely very drippy, but I am in a Renault. I'm not in a Ferrari or the McLarens or anything like that. I didn't choose one of the high-end cars because I wanted a, a chance to try one of the lower-end cars because I don't think I'm going to go straight to a Ferrari or a McLaren in the career mode. I'll probably do one of the lower cars and build my way up and build the cars up. Jeez, he's five seconds ahead of me. All right, well, I don't think we're going to get any higher. But the graphics on this game are definitely very intense and very awesome. I'm falling in love with this game the more and more I play. So like I said, if you guys want to see career modes, different tracks, different races, if you want to, you know, see some online racing and see what, you know, the online community here in F1 are doing, let me know down in the comment section down below. I mean, I enjoy playing this game. It's a lot of fun. Definitely going to want to get some of my friends on and uh, maybe do a little one-on-one -on -one dual race with uh, some people that I know that are real big in F1. The car started to step out on me. But I feel like I probably should definitely get my paddles set up on this so that I can uh, run paddles because having to take my hand off to get to my sequential mod is not really that bad. The force feedback is not incredibly intense, but I also want to possibly build a custom F1 style wheel for this rig with some more AM Studio quick releases. It's, uh, I wish uh, NRD Innovations made a uh, F1 style wheel, but they do not. I could probably get a small 320 with a deep cut and you know maybe make it, but we may have to make our own. 
So F1 2018 is definitely a uh, intense, fun game. If you love racing and you love careers and you love F1, this is uh, a very good pickup. Um, the physics are incredible. The racing on the wheel is insane. I haven't tried it on a controller, so I'm not sure how it does on a controller. I'll have to get with my buddy Christmas and see what he uh, thinks about it on a controller because he runs controller. And maybe I can get him online and do a little controller versus wheel time attack battle and see, you know, what is really faster. It'll probably be a wheel. Oh, and that's not what I wanted to do. So one lap, ow. Yeah, damage is not on full. One lapse of uh, three second penalty for what? He smashed into me! He smashed into me! How was that my fault? I spun out, and then he smashed into me. I feel like uh, that's bull. Um, we're just going to try and finish this because I am definitely losing a lot of front end grip right now without my front spoilers. So it does make a huge difference in these cars. I'm just going to try and limp this car back to the finish. In a, P in a top 10 format. So, if you guys like this and you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. That was intense. Sixteen? Okay, Don't tell me I'm 16th because of the time penalty. That sucks. Well, so, F1 2018, definitely not for the faint of heart. Um... So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Oh, well, I thought they were cheering for me. I was like, I'm not, I'm not a Mercedes. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, mm. just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track I guess so. You name it. So, These you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter and Instagram. If you guys still like the Selma cam, so let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, either Red Bull uniform for that Honda. Exactly what so, until so next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And this is a little bit of a short video. Today after that excellent race. Okay, They've well, excelled. <laughs> this is a bit of a shorter video, but like now I said, I do have a torque Davidson, drift video coming out tonight as well. So, make sure you guys check that out as well. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out. Yeah.